Uh, this is a silver chart on a daily basis, and I stated before I think the low is near. I think actually this week is probably going to be around about, and to the end of this month, around about when that's going to be about it for the low point on silver. I don't know if it's going down in this 26, 25, or whatever the heck it's going down to. I can't imagine it, but like I stated, I'm too bullish on the metals. I think the smartest thing I did was stay out of it for a while. And uh, I'm cautiously going long, but non-leverage. I went long on platinum last week. I went on long on gold um, last week also. Now, was that the best timing? No. But like I stated, I did not go long on leverage. I went long on just regular uh, physical ETFs. They're just following the price of the metal. So it'll win. It'll win. It's just that I didn't pick the exact perfect time. But I did wait it out long enough where I got it lower than if I would have just held the whole time. So it wasn't that bad of a maneuver. Um, you know, I'm not Karnak the Magician. I don't know the exact prices of uh, silver and gold as they go along. Now, I did suspect they're going to go down some more. That's why I'm mainly holding into cash. But I was a little fearful I could possibly be missing a boat. So I went into uh, long positions, no leverage. Uh, no, gold and, and uh, platinum. And I think actually fundamentally platinum is probably a better bet because um, there is some shortages. And also long on palladium. Now I'm actually ahead on the palladium um, because I think I got that at 643. I got the platinum around 1600. That's around 1554. But I'm not looking to sell right now. You know, I know it's going to do well. It's going to be over $2,000 this year, no problem. And I'll just hold on. That's the, that's the game. And um, as far as silver, you know, you're looking at this chart. We had a low here at December 28, 2011, around 27, $26. And then the high of 37 on February 27th. That was about two months later. So maybe a two-month cycle. You know, I was almost thinking around mid, mid April initially, possibly the end of April close to like April 20th where it was the bottom then I was thinking maybe it's going to nosedive faster and it'll hit around April 1st you know it's very difficult to say and you know I'm too bullish on this metal so I keep thinking it really shouldn't go down because fundamentally it's very strong but it's going down so uh, you know I wish I held on to the short position but that was nerve wracking because it was too counterintuitive to me but I did make a little bit of money on it but basically the smartest thing I did was to stay out of it because I haven't really bought back the PSL PSLV position yet and right now it's a lot cheaper so uh, that's probably the smartest thing I did I also got into gold I mean yes it's lower today I also got into palladium yes it's lower today but I waited long enough where I did, if I was just holding the whole time I would have been in a much worse position so it wasn't that bad, you know. But like I stated, I'm too bullish on the metals. So people think I'm, uh, you know, if they take things out of context or if they only view one video I did, they think I'm anti-bullish on metals. I'm not. I'm just telling people to be cautious about putting all their eggs in one basket. And yes, I'm pretty guilty of it too. But I realize that could be a major mistake and I'm taking a major risk. So I think silver the low is probably going to be here this week sometime. Really. And, you know, like I was indicating before, um, when you're looking at the Sprott Fund, the, uh, the premium right now is 4.27%. So that was as of Friday, April 20th, 2012, right? Now today is April 23rd, Monday, 2012. And uh, I'm assuming the premium is even lower because we had like a 3% drop in a, in a price of silver. And usually as silver prices drop the PSLV premium drops so actually that's making this a good deal to buy and I will be buying it pretty soon I don't know maybe even today but I think silver might go below 30 you know and uh, here's the PSLV you know I was kinda hoping it would go below 13 but right now it's at 1272 so um, <clears throat> I might be going back into this stuff too I probably will and probably do some of it today you know I probably will, probably right now in a few minutes. Because I'm thinking this is cheap enough. It's probably going to, for all I know, it could drop even some more. Because, like I stated, I am too bullish on these metals. But this isn't something that, you know, you know, I got out of it around, you know, I don't know, it was like 14, 15 or some garbage like that. So waiting this period of time 
actually was a smart thing to do. Nerve-wracking, but a smart thing to do. Because like I stated, I'm too bullish on these metals. It's very counterintuitive to me to think they're going to go down also. So I, I have a tough time getting that in my head. Although I think they're going to go down a little more. I know, it doesn't make sense, but they're going to. Now, as far as like today, when you're looking at oil's down, oil's down, you know, dollar eighty three, the Dow's down, the Nasdaq's down, the S P isn't on his kick out thing, but it's down, right? <clears throat> All the metals are down. You're gonna see a rebound tomorrow. More than likely. So and you know, the S P follows the oil pretty closely. So I mean you're not gonna see uh, everything just go right off a cliff at once. Sometimes it does that on one day, and every, in one day it's just going to jump up. So I'm a little patient with this stuff. Like I said, I'm, the only thing I'm on leverage on right now is with oil because I think Israel is going to strike Iran probably pretty soon. I know Cliff High stated it was going to be in the beginning of March, and I thought that was too early. But, yeah, it might be, it might be springtime, though. It might be springtime. I was thinking more like, the end of April or May, so it could be coming up right around now. You'll never know. They'll just do it. But I think the problem is, um, you know, and I'm really just discussing this because I want to know what the price of oil is going to go into, and um, I am double leverage and holding on that for the oil. But I'm, I think, um, you know, Israel's never going to give any hints, but I think the main problem they got is they're catching a lot of heat, from uh, public perception from different areas in the world and they don't want the world to turn against them so I, I know that's a um, a factor that's that's considered into what the strike too I mean I think if the world opinion was really super solidly behind Israel they would do it already so I think that's what's really holding them back more than it's supposed people in the Obama administration or anything like that I think they're fearful of uh, the world turning against them, but uh, the situation so grave that it probably will happen very soon. So um, you know, I don't know. I got my bet on with oil, but uh, if oil goes up, you're going to see gold go up too. And then when gold goes up, you're going to see silver follow, and it's going to put pressure on all the commodities. It will. So uh, you know, initially that first day of the strike, the only thing that's going to go up is oil. But everything else is going to follow right after that. Now, um, as far as platinum, you know, I got this around 1600 It looked like it was going sideways for a while, you know. And I says, you know, let me get in there on non-leverage. So I did that, and now it takes a big hit today. Um, but like I stated, you know, um, it will recover. And I don't have to worry about the fund eroding or anything like that. It could because it's non-leverage. And uh, it will be a winner. But um, if I see some of the metals, like if I saw a silver nosedive all the way down to 25, I would buy leverage then and go long. Then I would. No doubt about it. Because I think the only direction is up. <laughs> so... But I'm um, kind of holding off. I might buy a little PSLV today. And um, other than that, I'm just going to keep waiting. And uh, like I stated, I kind of went long. Probably went long a little too early. But like I said, it's non-leverage. And uh, it was smart to wait things out a little while and see where they settle. Because it looked like it was settling around 1600 here. But, you know, two weeks from now, or three weeks from now, platinum could be well above where I bought it. And uh, I think that's what's going to happen. I think this downtrend is kind of winding out right now. It's probably, you know, looking at the cycles, it looks like it takes about a couple months. You know, so we're about almost a couple months already. So, you know, if I'm off a week, it's not going to be that much longer where silver's going to start taking off. Because I think in the summer... Um, the metals are actually going to be start, they're really going to start cooking. And you're going to see a lot of stories out there pumping them up like crazy and getting more and more people on the bandwagon. But it's not going to be the silver and pumper dumpers moving the market. They're just going to kind of help it along a little bit. But uh, what you're going to see is uh, probably 
more economic stimulus policies that are going to l allow more speculation to occur and um, it's going to drive these markets very well but yes I know about the fundamentals and um, I know some you know I almost laugh at some of the people that you know keep telling me about these different facts about silver and yes I do understand those facts about silver and you know what I'm way too bullish on the metals I am uh, it's like I, I have to keep them too I'm way too freaking bullish on these stupid metals and um, so you know you're it's in my opinion even though it may seem like I'm almost against the metals a little bit I am way tainted in favor of them believe me I am I am there's no doubt about it so um, you know if I'm being a little like saying silver's going down I really do think it's going down it probably I think about this week is about it, and I'm going to start getting into PSLV again. And I'm glad I waited that out for this time period because I think it's going to have a 30% premium again. And I'd rather get it with a 5%, buy it when it has a below 5% premium. It's never really been this low as far as a premium, so it's good. It's a good deal.